Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has said that his country is facing a new stage in the war amid Russia's plans to expand offensive. Zelensky made the remarks during a meeting with border guards in Khmelnytsky Oblast on May 3. We are now facing a new stage in the war. The occupier is preparing to expand its offensive. And all of us, Ukrainians, soldiers, state, partners, must do everything to disrupt Russia's offensive plan, Zelensky stressed. The Ukrainian leader added that his country will have to go through an extremely difficult and tough path in order to save people's lives and end the war on fair terms. Emphasizing the need to do everything possible to thwart the Russian plans, Zelensky said this applies not only to Ukrainians, but also to Western partners. We must prove that the occupier will not succeed in achieving its goals under any circumstances, no matter what it does and no matter how cruelly it acts. Ukraine will prevail anyway, the president added. Zelensky's remarks came amid a deteriorating situation on the battlefield. The chief of Ukraine's military intelligence, Kirill Obudinov, said that Ukraine should expect to face a renewed Russian offensive in late spring or early summer, with the offensive intensifying around eastern Donbass region. Meanwhile, Ukraine's ground forces commander Alexander Pavlyuk said Chesevyar, a town in eastern Donetsk region, remains one of Russia's key targets as it could facilitate further advances toward the nearby cities of Kostantinivka, Kramatorsk, and Slovyansk. In his words, Russia aims to completely occupy Donetsk, Luhansk, and, if possible, Zaporizhia region in 2024. Russian anti-satellite nuclear weapon could be devastating, Pentagon warns. U.S. intelligence officials started looking into a slate of secret Russian satellite launches in early 2022, later discovering that Russia was developing a weapon that could destroy thousands of satellites in the Earth's atmosphere. That weapon, with potentially devastating nuclear capabilities, could destroy thousands of government and commercial satellites used for a variety of purposes from mapping to internet and cell phone connection, US officials have warned. A senior Defense Department official told lawmakers that Russia is developing an indiscriminate anti-satellite nuclear device that would pose a threat to all satellites operated by countries and companies around the world. The concept that we are concerned about is Russia is developing and, if we are unable to convince them otherwise, to ultimately fly a nuclear weapon in space, which will be an indiscriminate weapon that would not distinguish among military, civilian or commercial satellites, John Plum, the Assistant Secretary of Defense for Space Policy, said at a House Armed Services subcommittee hearing. According to NBC News, he said the threat was not imminent, but that the Pentagon and the entire Biden administration were concerned about the program. Asked about the potential effect of such a weapon, Plum said low Earth orbit, the most common orbit for satellites, would be rendered unusable for possibly up to a year because of the radiation from a nuclear detonation. It is difficult to estimate the precise impact of such a weapon, depending on the size of a nuclear explosion, Plum said, but he said a rough assessment would suggest satellites that aren't hardened against a nuclear detonation in space, which is most satellites, could be damaged and affected, and some would be caught in an immediate blast. Plum's comments are the first time the Biden administration has discussed the potential Russian anti-satellite capability at an open congressional hearing.